Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast for December 27th through January 2nd. Happy, happy new year, Virgo. This is going to be for Virgo sun, moon, and rising. We're going to see what's happening in the week ahead. You might stumble across this video outside of the time frame I mentioned. That's just fine. You found it whenever you were meant to find it, when you were meant to hear the messages in it. Keep in mind, this is a general reading for the Virgo Collective. Therefore, not every single message will resonate, but take the ones that do, leave the ones that don't, and without further ado, my darlings, let's see what is happening here. What is coming up here for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising? First card coming up is the temperance card and this is a major arcana card so a lot of you who watch my videos you have heard me say that when the major arcana cards come up we're coming into a really significant chapter in our life the situation that you're dealing with the things that are going on are directly connected to things you came here to learn things you came here to master things you came here to accomplish um, traditionally speaking, I know a lot of people are used to watching tarot for love and romance. And so when the major arcana cards come up or the court cards come up, it's interpreted as a person coming into the situation. And that can absolutely be true. However, welcome to my channel if you're new here. I do my love reading separate. They're linked in the description of this video. In the weekly forecast, I want to talk about you. I want to make this about you, your energy, your journey, your situation. So if you have a Sagittarius placement, there can be really big, huge shifts and changes happening for you in those areas of your life or in those houses. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius that might be very significant for you in the coming uh, days, weeks, months. It doesn't have to be romantic, but you, some of you might be working closely or dealing closely with a Sagittarius that is having a long lasting impact on your life. Now, the temperance card is about patience, balance, divine timing, and it can come up at a time when we are answering a calling, when we are feeling pulled or called to a situation that is helping us to step upon our life path. And I feel for you, Virgo, a feeling or a sense of like this door opening and you're going down this road and people are like saying, like, are you sure? Like, stay here, stay here. And you're like, no, bye, bye. And they're like, oh, okay, bye. So I feel for some of you, this change or this shift is resulting in uh, parting ways with certain people or this life path is taking you in a different direction from friends or family. I don't feel like it's a falling out. You know, sometimes we'll have an energy where people are dead against what we're doing. And they're like, well, if you do that, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Um, or we have these tower moments. I'm not getting that feeling. I'm not getting that vibe of like this, you know, person being removed from your life or having this, this falling out. But it feels to me more like the, the little phrase that gets passed around and memed a lot online the quote by Rumi when he said, be like a tree and let the dead leaves drop. I just feel like there are people that are going to be dropping off as you're turning this corner and as you're going in this new direction. And for some of you, you've delayed this a long time because you knew it would happen. You knew that there were going to be people that maybe distanced themselves or they could not go with you on this journey or that you were going to ascend and come to this vibration or frequency that you weren't going to have much to do with them. And so you've made some sacrifices. You've done some procrastinating because there were people you weren't ready to simply just kind of disconnect from and go in a different direction. 
but that door is opening and you're going through that door. And though you might not have an overwhelming amount of like encouragement and support, like we're excited for you, we're happy for you. They might not agree with the choices or the decisions that you're making, but I do feel it's very peaceful. And it's just kind of like this fading out or just kind of branching into different directions. Um, those of you who are an empath or who are empaths, I should say, I don't feel this process is going to be difficult for you emotionally because I feel like you're ready for it. But I feel the people that you're walking away from are going to take this really hard really really hard like they're not ready for you to go off and live your life right like they maybe got a lot of comfort from you or your presence was very reassuring for them so the fact that you're going off and living your life and being the true you instead of the you that they want you to be it's going to be difficult for them and those of you who are empaths, you're going to be picking up on this energy because they're kind of courted to you. Even though they're like letting you be and do your thing, energetically they've courted you. And you may be feeling their sadness, their loneliness, uh, their sense of loss. So it's going to be a good idea for you to cut cords. Cut cords. This doesn't mean that you're banishing people out of your life. It's just preventing them from sending you their energy or feeding off of your energy or you having to pick up or feel their emotions. So cord cutting is going to be really important as you're walking through this new door and embracing this new path. For some of you, this is coming with some kind of a contract, like a literal contract. I don't mean a spiritual contract, a literal contract. So you might be um, getting contracted for a project. Maybe some of you are getting contracted for something that is bringing you into the public eye, right? Maybe you're doing something as an artist or a performer or some type of a guru that might go against the way that you were raised or might go against the, the beliefs of the people that you're saying bye to as you're walking through this door. Um. And this might be why there's this, this parting of ways. But I feel like it's an actual contract. It could be a book deal where you're going to be telling your story. And, and there could be some things that, that you're writing that are not going to be super flattering about people who have been in your life. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, this is because you're accepting a new offer and some kind of a contract like a, an actual contract. Uh, for some of you, this might even take you to international travel. Oh, oh my doggie is... Oh, no babash. No babash. No babash. No babash. Good boy. I'm going to make sure he stays calm. He's like the size of a horse. <laughs> Sorry about the interruption, guys. For those of you who don't know, I've recently rescued a, a large dog who's a mix of many large dogs. And um, he is pretty much glued to me. So you may hear him bark. You may hear him snore. You may hear him try to crawl under the table like he's a tiny kitten. Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> there might be some background interruptions from time to time. I do feel that for some of you... Oh, good boy. I do feel that for some of you, this contract or this opportunity is coming with like international travel or the opportunity to spend some time abroad. No babash, no babash. There he goes. He's trying to get under the table now uh, to spend some time abroad. And um, so there might be international travel for some of you. Traveling internationally. There he goes, wagging his tail into the camera. Um, yeah, so some of you might have an opportunity to travel internationally and to um, see different places and uh, uh, kind of visit some places that you've always wanted to visit. I feel for some of you this goodbye is coming in with a contract and 
like this time of traveling abroad. Like you might be uh, even having an opportunity like to kind of go somewhere and stay at an Airbnb for a while or stay in a certain part of, of the world while you're working on this project, this job, this project, this opportunity. The next card that's coming up here, Virgo, is the Four of Swords. So there may be, as I said, a physical separation between you and people that you've been dealing with. And some of you have manifested this. Some of you have been like, man, I just want to find a job where I can work from home and I can just go anywhere, right? I can get out of here. I can go like, you know, rent some little cabin in the woods or just kind of get away. And so the Four of Swords is giving me that feeling of time away, time resting, and uh, it's giving me that feeling or that sense of, uh, of, of like a physical separation. But the thing with the Four of Swords, it's also a time where you're resting, you're recuperating, you're recovering. So this opportunity is going to be very healing for you. And it's giving you space that you have needed. It's giving you time and space that you have needed. And some of you feel like you've desperately needed this and now you're manifesting this. Uh, this is going to be a good time for you to rest, to release, to pray, to meditate, to have spiritual practice, uh, to connect with music. I feel like music will be a big part of the release for a lot of you. Uh, your next card coming up here is the King of Cups. And the King of Cups... Uh, again, could be generosity and opportunities. Some of you can be dealing with a water sign person. If you have a water sign placement, there can be that influence coming into the situation or those characteristics or those uh, traits that you're tapping into uh, of the water sign energy. Now, the king of cups for me comes up in terms of generosity and boundaries. Because the King of Cups is very generous. So the King of Cups for me is going to be balancing generosity. Uh, so this is like going to be set, setting uh, financial boundaries with people. So sometimes with the King of Cups, uh, I see it come up when you're learning that you can be generous, but not to the point where you're giving up everything. Not to the point where... All right, I'm sorry about that, Virgo. I don't know what it is about you guys. I don't know what it is about Virgo, but it happened when I was doing your 2022 12-month forecasts. This doggy, when I start reading for Virgo, he does not let me read. I don't know what it is. I think some of you maybe need a pet or just something to kind of maybe open up the heart chakra because I start reading for Virgo and he's like, trying to get under the table he's trying to get in front of the camera he's just all up in it he's smelling the cards so i gave him something to distract him here for a little bit but virgo some of you might need uh, i know i know that you're wanting to kind of separate and have some time alone and get away from everybody and work on your projects or focus on your work but it might be a good idea to have a little bit of a companion of of, of some kind on whatever level you're comfortable with might be a good idea to look into getting a pet for some of you. Keep in mind it is responsibility, it is work, but there's definitely rewards and it can actually be a very uh, helpful process in any heart chakra work. So coming back to the King of Cups, I was talking about financial boundaries, right? The King of Cups is generous, but he's nobody's fool, okay? So the fact that these cards are coming up, it's giving me a feeling in a sense that Virgo, you can expect to receive some pretty significant financial blessings here. And so you might have people that are aware of this and they might be coming to you with their hands out like, you know, gimme, 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 gimme. The King of Cups is generous, but he's nobody's fool. And I give the example of like a parent who the kid might be like, oh, let me you know, borrow the car, you know, Friday night, I want to go with my friends, or I want to go on a date, they might say, okay, fine, but here's a list of chores. And these are all the things that need to get done this week. You're also going to return the car to me washed, 
and clean um i don't want you i don't want to come back with like you know to go containers and things and all kinds of things trashed in the car uh you're gonna put gas back in it when you return it to me so you might give certain generosities you might even give them money for the night out but there's gonna be uh certain expectations right like like these are these are the things that you have to do so maybe in the past virgo you've been very helpful you've been very generous whether it's financially or whether it was with your time your wisdom your advice your support however you were generous you may have been very generous in the past and now that these blessings are coming in it's like you're still generous but there are better boundaries there are stronger boundaries. You're not just giving, 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 giving every time somebody asks and, you know, letting them disrespect you or letting them take advantage. So I do feel like there's blessings coming in. I do feel like uh, you're going to be in a position where you're going to be able to be generous towards others. And I feel like you're being very wise with that generosity right you're not going to be generous to the point where there's nothing left for you or you're not going to be generous towards people who are being very ungrateful and not appreciating it some of you may be less generous with people in your life and do more generosity with certain organizations right like maybe there's a cause that's near and dear to your heart and you're like well i'm gonna take this money instead and i'm gonna donate it to an orphanage or i'm gonna take this money and i'm gonna donate it to like after school programs for kids or um i'm gonna donate it to like homeless shelters or um you know uh research for like uh curing certain diseases right you might be focusing your generosity more in those areas than on people or situations in in your personal life king of cups also is going to be very successful energy very abundant energy uh i've even seen certain tarot decks or certain tarot teachers use the word worldly as a key term for the king of cups so this could mean somebody who is well traveled so as I was saying, I felt like some of you were going to have a chance or an opportunity to kind of go abroad internationally. And that worldly word is coming to my mind with this King of Cups. So I feel like some of you are having a chance here uh, to uh, to go ahead and to have that um have that uh, 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 opportunity. I'm going to say something here about the goodbye and the parting of ways. And for some of you, this is going to make absolute zero sense. But for other ones of you, it will. Okay. Certain religions, certain very, very kind of sheltered religions or religions that like to keep separate from non-believers that have their own vocabulary um, uh, will use the word worldly in a negative way. Like, oh, those are worldly people. Don't get involved with them. Those are worldly people. They're, they're bad influence, right? So I feel for some of you, whatever this contract is, whatever this opportunity is, it might be sinking into the heads of your friends and family that you are officially having left this religious group, this isolated group of people uh, that are separatists, that you've left it and they might be seeing you that, okay, even though maybe we knew you weren't coming around, even though we knew that maybe you were kind of wavering about the beliefs, now you have officially crossed over to being worldly. Now you're officially a worldly person. And this could be the reason for the separation for some of you. That's really deep. It's not going to make sense to a lot of you. But I think there is somebody out there who knows what I'm talking about. And who's going to be having that experience. The next card that's coming up here is the Five of Cups. And I know that this might seem like a very out of place card. When we have so much positivity, but it really isn't. The five of cups can be mourning, grieving a situation, crying over a loss, 
albeit there's still good things happening in your life. It's not complete and total devastation. So though some of you are ready to step onto this life path and disconnect from these other people, you may feel a certain sense of grieving. You may feel a certain sense of loss, like that chapter of my life is closed. I'm no longer in that group. I'm no longer around those people. And you may kind of cry for them or be sad for them. Like, I wish they could wake up. I wish I could take them with me on this journey, but I can't. And so you might need some time to process that separation. Another way that Five of Cups comes up is that we might be feeling really overwhelmed with the situation. You have all these positive things happening. You have all these good things happening. It can feel overwhelming to receive. And we might be tempted to numb our emotions because Five of Cups can come up when somebody doesn't want to feel and they're trying to numb themselves or self-medicate. That could be through alcohol. That could be through other substances. It could be through traits or things that seem really productive, but maybe are becoming too much of an attract, uh, distraction or we might be going overboard with it. Becoming a workaholic, um, exercising and getting into fitness uh, to a point where it's a little bit extreme or, or crossing over into the unhealthy or obsessive realm. Uh, we can self-medicate in many ways. And sometimes that self-medication looks really positive. So Virgo, it's important for you to maintain a sense of balance. You might be looking for ways to distract yourself or to heal or soothe yourself as you're going through this big transition. And I feel some of you are wanting to reassure yourself because you're so nervous about this new life. You're so nervous about these new opportunities and you're wanting to reassure yourself. But don't go to the extreme where that soothing becomes numbing. Don't go to that extreme where that soothing becomes where you're shutting yourself down or distracting yourself or escaping from your reality. You can pray for help in this. You can pray for guidance in this to help you find the balance. Okay. But some of you have so many changes and so many blessings coming in that it's overwhelming for you and you don't want to feel. And some of you are grieving or feeling very sad about the people who aren't waking up or the people who you can't take with you. It's okay to give yourself time to mourn that loss. Because this is a permanent change and this is a new path and you're stepping onto your life path. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos some weeks that might resonate more for you than your sun sign. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you go to callensleycom slash Amethyst Angelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. Um, 2022 forecasts are in the description of the video. Love videos for January are linked in the description. Uh, again, private readings at calendly.com slash Amethyst Angelite. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I'm wishing you a happy new year, my dears. Take care.